Why do we need batteries when we have a generator? We can't run the generator all the time. Besides the fact it takes fuel and it is also noisy, especially at night. Listen to this. Therefore, we use battery power on timers during the night and sometimes in the day when the generator is not on. These are the batteries we use. A 12 volt AGM deep cycle battery, 100 amp hours. Please note the battery requirements. This battery needs to remain charged and in a cool dry place. So we chose the basement. We can safely use 40% of the power. Anything more will kill the battery. Other type of batteries can only use about 30% of the power without damaging it. We have three exact same AGM deep cycle batteries. We connect them in parallel, red with red and black with black. So now we have one battery bank, 3,600 VAs. The batteries are connected to a 1,500 watts sign inverter black on the first battery and to the red on the third battery. We chose a sign inverter so the signal is smoother for appliances, especially for motors, fans, and TV. We have a 150 amp fuse to protect the inverter. It also acts as an isolating switch. When we charge the batteries, we connect the red to the first battery and the black to the third battery. Like this. See, I have no rings, no chains, no zips, or anything metal. I don't want to get shocked. Also, the fumes are non-toxic, but give off hydrogen, which is explosive in large amounts. Therefore, we have them in their own containment, well ventilated and no electric devices in there, like fans or the inverter. There are six things we power for one to three hours on the maximum setting at night. We stagger them on timers, chest freezer, hot water tank fan, gas fireplace fan, charging electronic devices, internet and solar fridge, and sometimes our TV. We charge the batteries in the day using 400 watt solar panels and 200 watt panels to back up for overcast days. Solar is the most effective for us because we have the sun. There is a 40 amp fuse to protect the batteries and it also acts as an isolating switch. During the day, we have the 150 watt smart charger when the generator is on early morning and late afternoon when the sun is low. At night, or sometimes in the day, we have the bike power generator. The whole family takes a turn to pedal. Then we have trickle chargers, such as the 30 watt hand crank, 15 watt wind turbine, limited to the wind, and 10 watt thermoelectric generator. The thermoelectric is powered by candle or propane. The only thing with this is that we have a diode to stop the back current. To summarize our power needs, in the evening we need three hours staggered for each appliance, total of 980 watts, real power usage, 1,100 VAs, apparent power, which means we need to have this available. We have a maximum surge of 1,450 VAs, for the chest freezer, which lasts less than five seconds. Our power storage battery bank has usable power 1,250 watts. We still have about 300 watts spare. Our power sources can provide a minimum charge of 10 watts and a maximum charge of 400 watts. Means in the day we can fully charge a low battery bank 
within 3 to 12 hours. And at night, if we use the bike generator, it will take 8 to 12 hours. However, we will more likely use the trickle charge in the evening, which provides 10 watts each hour. Next time, I will be showing all the components and how they work. Remember, Yeshua loves you. And until next time, keep smiling.